Now this one here, we'll talk about cross multiplication method. This question here it says, which of the following pairs of linear equations has unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions? In case there is a unique solution, find it out by using cross multiplication method. Now, this one here, the very first thing we need to do is we have to find out whether they have unique, no or infinitely many solutions. So, so let's quickly find out the ratios. A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. Okay. A1 is 1, A2 is 3, B1 is negative 3, B2 is negative 9, C1 is negative 3 and C2 is negative 2. So A1 over A2, 1 over 3, B1 over B2, negative 3 over negative 9 and C1 over C2 is negative 3 over negative 2. So, which is 1 over 3, 1 over 3 and 3 over 2. So, this is equal, not equal. So, this is A1 over A2 is equal to B1 over B2 is not equal to C1 over C2. Means, parallel lines, no solution. Let's look into the next one. This one here. So, this is uh, 2x plus y negative 5 equals to 0, 3x plus 2y negative 8 equals to 0. Same thing a1, a2, c2. a1 is 2, a2 is 3, b1 is 1, b2 is 2, c1 is negative 5, c2 is negative 8. So a1 over a2, 2 over 3, b1 over b2, 1 over 2 which is not equal. So we don't need to look into C1, C2 because this will give me intersecting lines means unique solution. Now, this equation is giving me unique solution and we have to find out value of X and Y through cross multiplication method. Now we'll learn about what is cross multiplication method. Our purpose is to find out value of X and value of Y. I write it here x y I take x as say a and y as b and here other than x and y I write 1 also which I take as c constant value now I have a here so I'll take only b and c I'll write b1 b2 C1, C2. Here I have B, so I'll take A and C. C is already here, so A1, A2. Here I have C, so I'll take A and B. A is already here, so B1, B2. So now I have B1, B2, C1, C2, A1, A2, B1, B2. This method talks about cross multiplication. We take left side first, I'll write B1 multiplied with C2 minus B2 multiplied with C1. Let's move into this one. Same. This also. Same. All these arrows are pointing upward. This one here will be same left side first. So this will be C1 A2 minus C2 A1. C1 A2 C2 A1. Third one same left one first. This left side A1 B2, A1, B2 minus A2, B1. So now I have 1, 2, 3. These three values here. This one is for X and this one is for Y. So find out X this way. X will be equal to B1, C2 minus B2, C1 over 
this value here a1 b2 minus a2 b1 find out value of y this way this one c1 a2 minus c2 a1 over same a1 b2 minus a2 b1 okay now let's find out value of x and y in this equation x will be equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1 okay p1 c2 b1 is 1 c2 c2 is negative 8 so 1 multiplied with negative 8 minus b2 c1 b2 2 multiplied with c1 c1 is negative 5 negative 5 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1 a1 b2 a1 is 2 b2 is 2 minus a2 b1 a2 is 3 b1 is 1 so this gives me 1 into negative 8 negative 8 minus 2 into negative 5 negative 10 over 2 into 2 is 4 minus 3 into 1 is 3 so this is negative 8 minus minus plus 10 over 4 minus 3 is 1 negative 8 positive 10 gives you 2 over 1 so x is 2 x is 2 let's find out y y is this here c1 a2 minus c2 a1 so write c1 a2 c1 negative 5 into a2 3 minus c2 a1 c2 negative 8 into a1 a1 is 2 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1 i already know a1 b2 minus a2 b1 because this and this both are same in both the values x and y i can easily pull it this 4 minus 3 this one here is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so negative 5 into 3 negative 15 minus negative 8 into 2 negative 16 over 1 so this is negative 15 plus 16 over 1 negative 15 plus 16 gives you 1 1 over 1 is 1 so y would be 1 here so for this equation value of x is 2 value of y is 1 we have found this out through cross multiplication method let's look into this one this is 3x minus 5y minus 20 equals to 0 6x minus 10y minus 40 equals to 0 so a1 a2 c2 a1 is 3 a2 is 6 b1 is negative 5 b2 is negative 10 c1 is negative 20 c2 is negative 40 so a1 over a2 3 over 6 means 1 over 2 b1 over b2 negative 5 over negative 10 1 over 2 c1 over c2 negative 20 over negative 1 40 1 over 2 so all are equal so this will give me coincident lines means infinitely many solutions all right solutions this one here a1 a2 c2 a1 is 1 a2 is 3 b1 is negative 3 b2 is negative 3 c1 is negative 7 c2 is negative 15 so a1 over a2 1 over 3 b1 over b2 
negative 3 over negative 3 means 1. So, not equal means a1 over a2 is not equal to b1 over b2. What gives me unique solution? Let's find that out. What is that unique solution? Or what is the value for x and y? Through cross multiplication method. Okay. Quickly I write x, y, 1. A, B, C. A is here, so I'll write B1, B2, C1, C2. B is here, so I'll write A and C. C is here, so A1, A2. C is here, so I'll write A and B. A is here, so B1, B2. So cross multiplication. x would be b1 c2 left first minus b2 c1 over this value here left first a1 b2 minus a2 b1 y would be this here so left first c1 a2 c1 a2 minus C2 A1, C2 A1 over this one, A1 B2 minus A2 B1. This and this, both are same into X and Y, both. X would be B1 C2, B1 C2, negative 3 into negative 15 minus B2 C1, B2 C1, negative 3 into negative 7, over A1 B2, A1 B2, 1 into negative 3, minus A2 B1, A2 B1, 3 into negative 3. So this will be negative 3, negative 15 gives you positive 45 minus negative 3 negative 7 gives you positive 21 over 1 into negative 3 negative 3 minus 3 into negative 3 9 negative so this will be 45 minus 21 gives you 24 negative 3 minus minus plus 9. So this is 24 over negative 3 plus 9 gives you 6. So this is 4. So x is 4. Let's find out y. So y would be a1 b2 a2 b1 is same here. I can take this value directly as 6. So this is negative 21 plus 15 over 6. So this is negative 6 over 6 which is negative 1. So value of y is negative 1. Negative 1. So x is 4 and y is negative 1. That's the value for unique solution through cross multiplication method. Alright, all done.